hello in this video i am going to show you how you can do add to cart using asp.net c sharp so first of all we can create shopping cart using three way first one is table sql table this is the first way second way is session and third way is using cookies uh, from this three way the standard way is cookies but in asp.net to maintain cookies is very difficult then also we are going to perform using cookies i find one good way to store this uh, everything in cookies so i will show you how you can perform this so first of all you can see here this is the product description page i am going to run this and show you We are going to perform step by step so you can easily understand what I am going to perform here. Yes, you can see this is the product page. Here we can see more than one item, but right now I had only one item. When I click on this, I transfer on product description page. On this product description page, you can see here we get your item and everything. And this is our add to cart button. I put here only single button, but we need to add there one BR. So I'm going in this source, and here I'm going to press one BR. Now. <coughs> we can see here we get here add to cut button now in this add to cut button we are going to use cookies and we are going to store this item inside this cookies so this way we can perform our shopping cart and now first of all i create this click event of this i show you in design double click on this so we get this click event so now inside this click event we need to get data in variable so first of all which data i will show you in my last video i am i forgot to write here where id is equal to id so if you are going to perform then please check it you write here if you don't then please write this where id is equal to and you have to write this line also id is equal to and you have to declare on variable also so please uh, uh, confirm this now in this our shopping ndf we are going to check how many field inside this product table so now inside this product table we have one two three four five six field but this id is not important right now for us so this five field is most important for us so here i am going to take five variable string product name product description product price product quantity and product images now after taking this variable we need to get <coughs> value from this product table inside this variable so first of all we have to write here one loop for each data row dr in dt dot rows now in this variable we have to get value so copy and paste over here we are getting here line in but don't worry now here 
we have to get this value here we have to pass our this column name so column name is equivalent to our variable name product name now copy this paste here product underscore dsc product underscore price now product underscore qty and now product underscore images now you can see everything is okay now now so we get this item inside this variable now we have to perform cookies operation so first of all we are going to create only single cookies in one cookies we are going to store multiple product and we separate this product using this pipe sign so now i show you we are going to use cookies name is aa right now for testing so first of all i am going to check if uh, any record in inside this cookies or not if uh, cookies is blank then this code will execute and there is i available item inside cookies then this code else part is executed so first of all we are going to check if no item available on the time what we are going to perform we are going to perform create these cookies and inside these cookies we pass our all variable and separate with comma all values we are separating using comma you can see here everything separating using comma and we pass here <coughs> time duration expire time is one day so uh, this is for 24 hour now if one record is available or two record is available and we are going to add one new record on that time what i am going to perform i pass here create this cookies and in this cookies we already take one value and i pass here pipe sign and record this so i explain here what happened if uh, just consider aa is equal to already we have record testing just consider in your cookies the record is testing and you are going to add one new record inside this cookies name is testing one then what happened the output should be like this aa is equal to testing then pipe sign then we are going here testing one so we are going to perform uh, separate this record using this pipe sign so we are going to create only one cookie but inside these cookies we are going to separate this record using pipe sign so if you have 30 50 records inside the cookies then each and every record is separated by pipe sign i will show you how we can get this record in uh, when we are going to display shopping cart but it is it will easy no no problem i will show you but in this video i am going to store like this and uh, i create one page testing page inside this testing page i create uh, four button this is for only testing and in this button cookies display using array i will show you i write this code i worked so hard to uh, make this example so easy here i am going to take uh, record from this cookies and um, uh, fetch this uh, inside this array and then i print this uh, cookies from array but no problem i will show you what happened first of all i am going to run this now first of all i am going to delete everything cookies and everything okay now go here and i press here add to cart button okay now here again i copy this url and going to run <coughs> testing.asps so i am going to run here testing.asps inside this we are going to press this button and we get here one record you can see here we get here this one record you can see here we get here one record now again i am going to 
press this button and here I am going to press this button so we can see here we get here second record but it's separate using pipe sign now just consider you add 30 record 50 records inside this then each time you get this way separated by pipe sign so <coughs> here I show you simple now we can do it to chart using cookies uh, later on we are going to check everything like uh, we are going to add uh, quantity text box so we will ask quantity to um, user uh, right now we are just taking <coughs> quantity as whatever here but in next studio we are going to uh, add here text box so we will ask this uh, from user and then we are also going to check if user enter 20 quantity then right now we have only two quantities so we are going to check also this uh, we have available quantity or not so i will show you everything but right now i show you simple how we can create a shopping cart using cookies <coughs> this is the simple simple code if you need this code then please send me email i will uh, send you this code in your mailbox so you can easily use this thank you so much for watching my video and yeah if you like my video then please share it so maximum people can use this thank you so much